Hey guys, James Buckley here, coming to you from my backyard here, and I want to talk to you here. I'm a creator of JamesABuckley.com and Divine Insight for Prospect. I want to talk to you about a very interesting comment that was given to me the other day on Facebook, and somebody was just relating to the question of, are you born an entrepreneur? And I just want to share some insight with you about what I've seen and what I looked at as according to entrepreneurism and what I've experienced myself. Now, the question on are you born an entrepreneur is this. I think everybody has got entrepreneurial potential, although Webster describes or defines entrepreneurism as a person who organizes, manages a business and take a risk of loss. Now here's the reality of entrepreneurism. Now most entrepreneurs get paid for finding a solution to a problem. And if you are watching this video today and you are already doing a network marketing, direct sales, affiliate program, some type of an entrepreneurial business, you had to take a giant step in deciding whether or not you wanted to do that. And I think it'll go back to listening to an interview with Eric Woe and one of the successful entrepreneurial families that had came up from background of the, the gentleman's father was into real estate and he had rental houses. So this young man was raised up watching his father receive pay from the renters and as he received the pay he saw this and it put an entrepreneurial mindset in him that he wanted to be like that he wanted to receive that type of money and the wife of this man she had a raised up in a family where the daddy was a self-made business developer and see that being said that puts a mental perception in a person's mind on the level of, of managing and organizing and really developing that type of a, a mentality. Now, if you're watching this video and you're working a nine to five or you're working a job and you're happy with your job and you've probably been taught go to school, uh, get good grades, go to college and get your degree and then work for somebody the rest of your life. That's cool, that's the way it is. I was taught that same way. I went through the technical route. I was a maintenance technician, although that was a path that I took. And in that, I was able to achieve a pretty good income and do pretty well for myself. Although, reality hit me at one time about entrepreneurism, and I wanted to pursue that career. Now, in my mind, I've never been taught entrepreneurism. I knew back when I was young, I was raised on a farm, and my granddaddy would always have peas and corn and, and okra and, and different things to do around that farm. And I always was taught, and a young taught, to implement the type of skill set. I even picked cotton when I was little, so therefore I was able to make income, so that made a difference in me. So when I got older, I wanted more than what the 9 to 5 was offering me. I wanted more than what corporate structure as Even as a maintenance technician, I was making pretty good, but I wanted more because I didn't have time free. So entrepreneurism, are you born an entrepreneur? You have to develop those particular skill sets of managing and organizing and all that. But you first have to take a step to move out of your comfort of being in the corporate America or being as a learned behavior of working for somebody and trading hours for dollars. That's a whole different mentality. An employee mindset versus an entrepreneur mindset, a whole different mentality. So I think you have to develop that as you learn and take risks. And you know, you may be doing a business right now and you had a place in your life where you're not having a, the success you want because your employee mindset may have positioned you to do things that wasn't relevant to the entrepreneurial world. And that being said, you gotta learn how to invest in the particular skills, the qualities, the, the mannerisms gotta change, the, the mental behavior has gotta change, the disciplines has gotta change. You gotta really make a difference in the entrepreneurial world. So if you're watching this video and you may be in direct sales, you may be in network marketing or some type of business that you've not got the 
results you want and you want those results so i encourage you that somewhere here in this scope of this video you'll find an opportunity for you to practice your entrepreneurial and i say take a risk because if you don't have the skills don't have the mentality right now and i heard uh, t harv saying something about the money blueprint if your money blueprint is not at a place to where you can invest and you take chances on investing or you take the the proper decisions on investing in courses or systems or platforms that can help you position yourself and brand yourself as an entrepreneur, then definitely you want to take an evaluation of yourself and look at where you are now and look at modeling some particular business developer that's already doing or creating the results you want to create and you want to plug into the same particular systems or the same particular training, you want to get the particular change that you need. Because I remember Jim Rohn said, in order to change, you must change. So if you're watching this video, go ahead, make a decision. If you know that your entrepreneurial skill is not where they need to be, you've not got the managing and organizing type of skill, you've not have the type of skills it takes to generate the type of money you want to generate, then definitely click on the link that's provided in the scope of this video. Share with you a free video tutorial of how people are making it in this industry by aligning themselves up to learn the skills of branding themselves and not branding a company or peddling your business, but position yourself as a professional marketer and you're an authority figure of giving away valuable content that's helping people solve their problems and address their needs. That's entrepreneurism. James Buckley here. I hope this video has helped you. If it has, like, share, comment. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. You take care and God bless. You are about to learn the powerful methods and tactics the experts have been using to stay one step ahead. If you keep doing the same things, you're going to get the same exact results. When you learn better, you can do better.